Hey guys, I'm Emily Powers and today we're going to be painting a fun parakeet and it should be probably more of a beginner um, painting. It, it may take a little longer than some of the other beginner ones, maybe a little over an hour, I'm not sure, but um, I just think it's going to be really fun and um, the paint colors and brushes are going to be listed in the description, so if you hit the little arrow right under the video, directly under it, it'll have um, an arrow you can drop down and it'll have all the supplies. And I will say real quick, um, I will be drawing it in, so you will need like a watercolor pencil or chalk or something like that to draw in it. So I'm just going to get into it and say if you enjoy this video please um, give it a like and uh, go to my channel subscribe check out the other videos that I've put out and paint this along this I think this is gonna be a fun one I like parakeets so cute all right so I'm making a blue gray uh, just by mixing the burnt umber, ultramarine blue, and white. So I'm just going to put that on. The wood in the picture is a little bit more um, brown, um, but I thought it would be kind of cool to do it more of like a gray color. And you can put more brown in it. See, you can add more brown. I think I might actually do it kind of like a brown, more brown gray. That I think that'll be really pretty. You can do it the wood color, um, you know, by just doing more browns. And it looks like there's a little bit of greenish colors in there, so you can you can do that if you want to. But I thought I would like gray, so. So you don't have to do it exactly the way I am. This is just how I thought I would like it better. So that's what I decided to do. And you can see I'm like leaving it streaky and so that there's kind of several different colors going on. I even grabbed some of the unbleached titanium and make it like a little bit of a different color that way. And my brush is pretty thick with paint, so just kind of tell you the thickness there. Okay, and now I'm just going to grab like some darker and kind of drag it in just streaking some we're probably going to do another layer on the wood but just to kind of give some of it before we even do any of that and then I'll take some unbleached titanium and do some lighter areas too So it's already kind of looking like wood, just with the streaks. Alright, so that's our first step, just by streaking those colors in there. And next we're going to do basically the same thing, skimming it, but it's going to be dry when we do that part. So I'm just going to pause the video right there and let it dry or blow dry it with my hair dryer and come back. All right, so now this is dry and I'm just going to take the same brush, the um, one inch bright, and I'm gonna do some darker and some lighter color. So I'm getting the burnt umber and ultramarine blue and making it darker. And I'll add a little bit of the unbleached titanium, just so it's not like black, or like really dark. 
want it to be a little bit lighter. And so you want it to, you don't want it to be like gobbed up, but you don't want it kind of thick. It's not dry brushing. You don't want paint on there. But I'm just going to take it and kind of skim it and you can see how it's like picking it up. So I'm like just kind of lightly brushing it and in the areas that I want it thicker I can kind of push down a little bit harder and it'll get thicker. So just kind of put this wherever you want your areas to be darker. You can add a little bit of water if it's not um, really flowing. Um, it'll be a little bit harder, um, like, see, it's kind of catching the texture, um, of the canvas, so it's, um, that's what's kind of making it all speckled-like, so, if you're using paper, you can still get the effect, it might just look a little different, um, because it's not, it's, it's not textured like this. Okay, so now I'm getting the lighter color that I had over here, those same colors. And I'm just going to put some lighter. You can see it looks a little bit more like wood now with that. You can even, while you're doing it, take some of the dark and kind of put some in. It's kind of you know, add a little bit of light here, a little bit of dark there, just making it interesting. Okay, and then I'm going to get a bit more of that color there. So this is a little bit lighter. I'm going to get some water, just to kind of make it a little bit more streaky. Alright, I don't know if I want to do this, but I'm going to take a little bit of green with it. And I'm just going to do a little bit to see if I like it. If I don't, I will probably cover back over. But, it's a little bit green. And, let's see. I'm going to get more brown. Let's see, I'm going to get more brown. I'm running out of these two. And I didn't mention, I'll probably have something about it in the description. This is light green. Um, it's an Artist Loft paint. So I don't use it very often. I just happen to have it. You could use like phthalo green and this cadmium yellow medium and some white and kind of mix it to where it's like this. And if you don't, you know, if you can't mix it or you don't have it, just use like a light uh like yellowy green. It doesn't have to be this exact green. But I just thought I would say that real quick. I might even end up using some phthalo green if I need a darker green, but that will be in the description. Whether I use it or not, I do not know at the moment. Okay, so yeah, I think, I think I'll put it in. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I just took some um, of this color with a little bit more burnt umber and this light, gr um, light green. And I um, just mixed it up to where it looked a little bit of a green tint, and I'm just streaking a little bit of that, and um, it'll kind of make it look like moss or something. That looks really cool. Kind of mossy. So you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but this is a birdhouse outside, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I mean, why would a birdhouse be inside? <laughs> it didn't really come out right. Uh, so if it's outside, it'll probably have like, um, the picture kind of has, the wood has some like greenish 
uh, stuff on it. So more like the wood is just colored green, but and I think it kind of wanted to lift over here, so I might have to go back. I don't know, it might just have lifted up that last layer. Might be okay. Okay, so this is going to have to dry before we draw our bird in, too. But I can um, show you how to draw it. So I can move this over here. And get this out. So the parakeet is going to be, um, let's just say, this is kind of the end of our board here. Okay, so th this is our square board. It's a little smaller than the actual board, but um, the middle would be right here. So you can just put a little dot in the middle. It's actually not quite there, but um, there's going to be like a little uh, part of this birdhouse coming out, and like the little, I don't know what you call it, but um, the thing that they sit on right in front of the hole, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, um, it comes out and uh, we're not because it's like on the side it's kind of short and we're not seeing not seeing a whole lot of it because the feet are going to be in here but that's going to be there and then the birdhouse hole is going to be in there but i'm going to put that in after i draw it so that i won't go into the bird so it's like kind of sitting on this thing and it's going to come up and it's going to start kind of turning its head around. So you could do like a egg shape and then kind of, uh, you know, erase and change. So it's kind of like right, right in here. It's kind of the, uh, big oval and then the head comes around and then kind of when it meets the circle your circle might be a little different than mine but that's kind of where the wing is going to start it's going to start kind of coming closer to the body and then the tail. There's kind of an indent right here, and it goes down almost to the bottom. And um, the wing is going to kind of, it's kind of squared off right there, and then it comes around like that. And there's all going to be all these like little pockets of like dark and green and but you don't really have to draw that in we'll just kind of paint it in and so you see the oval kind of got out of kind of went in here and so it doesn't it's not going to perfectly fit the oval but that's kind of the basic shape of the body and then the I'm going to kind of bring the head out a little bit further and the nose is going to be kind of like right in this area so he's kind of like turning his head this is like the front of the body and he's like turning his head this way so the nose is going to be like right on the edge of the there and because it's on the side um, the beak is like it's like this uh, or the nose area is kind of like this shape or it's kind of like two circles kind of that are meeting together it's not really pointed but so because he's on the side this side is going to be shown more than this side 
This side's going to be a little bit more like squished out. So that's kind of the shape for that part. At any point that you need to like catch up, you can stop the video. And I'm going to actually be drawing it on the board um, too. So I might skip that part. I'm not sure. This is because I already drew, drew it, but we'll see if I need to. And then the beak, um, it's kind of curved on this side. And then the eye is going to be like if you did a line from here, it's going to be right above, like in this area right here. And their eyes are kind of small. And the, the out, outside is really, it's not a circle. Let me do that again. It's more of like a, a teardrop kind of shape. That's better, right there. <laughs> and then the nose holes it's going to be a little, uh, it's not going to be a perfect circle, they're going to kind of be a little slanted. And he has, let's see, there's, this is kind of where the yellow on his head starts. And there's going to be some circles. You really don't even have to draw these in, um, but you can if you want to know exactly where you're going to put these little details here. And he's got like a blue patch right here. Okay, and then his feet, they're going to come, this one is coming right off of here. And curving around, and then it stops, and you can see his little toenail, like that. And this side curves it around, and you can see that there. You don't want it to make it look like he's got, like talents or anything, but he does have like little fingernails. And this one kind of wraps around. I'm not really seeing it anymore. And there's another one. So it might be a little bit hard to see it um, in the drawing, but that's kind of basic little parakeet. And he's going to have all of these like lines. Um, that are coming. Parakeets have these like stripes on their head. So, it's cute. Right there. I'm getting stuck right there. Alright, so I can get this back. It's still a little bit like wet feeling. I mean, it's just enough that I can kind of touch it. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of dry it so that I don't lift anything off. Okay, so this is good now. Um, I'm just going to take some white school chalk. You could also use like a watercolor pencil. Anything that's water soluble that will wipe off when you're done. You can, then that way you can just take a damp towel or rag and just kind of uh, rub it off once you're done. Um, you could, I guess, use like a graphite pencil, but I've always used water soluble stuff so that nothing will be seen through or anything like that. So I'm um, just going to do the same thing. So if here's the middle, then it's going to be right, right down from that. And then it's kind of coming over this way. Okay. And it's actually not that slanted. It's kind of a little bit more straight. 
it is still slightly curved though. So, and then these coming around like this. I'm not really explaining what I'm doing. I'm just kind of, since I already explained kind of when I was doing the the uh, drawing on the pad over there. So I'm not really explaining it. So if the, um, another thing would be if this is kind of like the tail portion, the wing would kind of come right in the middle of that. It's kind of where it would stop. So kind of maybe a little bit, just slightly above the middle, somewhere in there. Yeah, slightly above the middle. If you do it a little bit below or whatever, it's it's not, not going to hurt. Water soluble. This is a scribble pencil. It's water soluble. I'm going to do this part with that so that I can get more detail. But you can use the chalk. You don't have to go back, go out and get this, which I would not suggest going out at the moment. But you don't have to order this or anything. You can use the the chalk. You can see kind of me rubbing it off in certain areas. Um, you don't have to like draw it and say, you know, okay, well that's, you know, I drew it, so even though I don't like this, I can't change it because you can change it. So it's kind of like a little indented in this area. kind of in this area. Alright. I'll just kind of put a dot for the eye because I don't need to do the details. And I'm going to kind of bring this head out some kind of bring this in. Sometimes the drawings look really weird and you think that this doesn't look right. Um, but it really could partly be just because you're not seeing the details yet. You know, like the stripes aren't in there. So you could put some stripes just to kind of see if that's, yeah, I mean, just that 
in itself makes it look more like a parakeet. So um, you might just kind of have to play around with it. I think this whole thing is just uh, too big or too far down or something. All right, so it looks really funny now, but uh, if we start painting it in, it'll look better as we go. So I'm going to get my 3 8 inch angle shader. It's uh, Princeton Velvet Touches, the brand. Some of these brushes I don't even have a brand on um, because they came in like a set or something. and they, they might have numbers, but I don't know that you can actually order them by themselves. So... Um, I'm going to take this, well, let me start with the yellow. I'm going to take the yellow, and because yellow, um, you, you would be able to see through this. So like, let me just put some there. You can like see straight through it. So I'm going to get some of the white, the titanium white, and make it um, like a light yellow. So now it'll cover. So we'll have to do several layers probably, but you have to do that to get it covered. So you have to layer with acrylics and the more layers you do, um, the better. You don't want to just like constantly be doing layers, but you can, if you try to just do this all in one, layer it wouldn't work so I'm not going to totally cover over the eye um, I'll leave a little area in there but well I don't know I might just go ahead and cover over it and I'll put it in later You can add some water if it's like not wanting to come off very easily. You might just need to add a little bit of water. So I'm going to leave a little area for this, but I'm not going to worry too much about leaving it. The nice thing about um, acrylic painting is that, especially for beginners, you can kind of, if you make a mistake, you can kind of just cover back over it. So that's one nice thing. Okay, now I'm going to take my green. So like if we went too far um, into this with the yellow, then we can go back and cover over it when we put in that area. So if you ever cover over anything that shouldn't be covered, don't worry, we can kind of put it in later. And this is kind of just like the first coat, and we're going to do several more. This is just kind of the first step filling in, getting the kind of colors we want in certain areas. So 
So we don't want to cover this all with thick green. We want some yellow kind of poking through in some places. green and you can kind of put some more so you can see it's still very see-through but that's okay so I'm just kind of alternating getting some yellow where I see more yellow and green where I see more green I've kind of dirtied up my um, yellow to where it actually has some green in it, so I'm going to go back and get mix it again so I have more of a pure yellow color. And if some of your edges are a little, kind of like flare out a little bit, that's okay too because there are some areas that kind of have um, like feathers that are kind of poking out here and there, so you don't have to like completely make it all smooth and kind of flare it out in certain areas if you want to. Going up against the wing. And now I'm going to actually paint in the wing area. So um, I'm going to get this green color and I'm going to add, let's see. I'm going to add a little bit of brown to it to mute it just slightly. You don't want it to look brown. Um, but this side is in shadow, so it's going to be a little more muted than this, like, area right here. So, like, this area is going to be bright and, like, really bright, and this area is going to be a little bit more dull just because it's in the shadow. So, I put that in. And, really, I'm just going to kind of fill it in because um, we can do the detail parts later. What's underneath, we, what we can do first is add the green and then we go back and add the, the black patches and things. And I'm going to get some yellow, yellowy green in here too. Yeah, this is going to be fun. So far it's fun. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to kind of end it there because it's more black towards the end anyway, so. Alright, so that's kind of the first coat. And it's kind of, uh, it looks kind of cool actually, just like that. I mean, it looks very see-through, but it does look kind of cool. So we can work on, like, adding this wood area and, like, the little beak area in there. So I'm going to get, let's see, we want, like, the same wood color um, as back here pretty much so 
just gonna get the ultramarine blue and the burnt umber and this umber's titanium and I need more blue and I'm gonna make like a darker and a lighter too so I'm gonna start with putting in now this color, you want to be able to see it from the rest, so you may need to kind of lighten it up some. I'm just going to kind of put some darker and I'm kind of doing it in like a circular motion too. To get more of this um, bleached titanium and right on the edge of where the circle is there's like a a bright area I guess where the sun is kind of hitting it get some of the dark and kind of put a dark right on the edge of that area so you can kind of see if that's where it comes out and we can do this right now we can take the burnt umber and the ultramarine blue try not to get any other colors in it like white or anything light because you want it to be really dark so you want to get it like as close to as black as you can and then you're going to do like a little birdhouse hole I'm just going to start here and go around okay and then you just kind of fill it in we cover up a little bit more of the bird, we can just go back later and do the same thing we did to the bird before. Okay, and then while this is kind of all dry, we can add some like interesting things to the wood. So I'm gonna take this really dark um, and I'm going to make sure my brush is like flat Okay, so you don't want it like big and bulky. You want it to be um, an edge and I'm just going to kind of streak in some like look like the woods cracking in some places And there's really like a lot of these in the picture can kind of do uh, some, depending on what your pressure is, it's going to make the lines different. So if you do light pressure, it's going to make a very light, see like very light lines. And if you do harder, it's going to make the lines darker. And there again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. You really could have even done this before we put the bird in, so you don't have to go around it. But you can do some like going around the hole kind of I don't know 
know if that would be real, but I don't know. That's how knot holes would happen, so it probably wouldn't, but. <laughs> and you can do some little knot holes too. There's like this really big one over here, but I'm not gonna do that one. I think it would be kind of like distracting from the picture, but I will do a few. So like right in here, we can kind of tap in some dark. And then we can do some like lines going out and around from it. So there's that hole. So that's really cool. You can just kind of, the wood is fun with painting. It's like, you can kind of do like whatever you want with it really, with this wood. You can change the color or you know, put nail holes and like lines. You can really do like a lot with it. And this kind of looks like a nail hole up here already, so I'm just gonna kind of add to it, or not a nail hole, like a knot hole. Nail hole, knot hole. So I think I'm just gonna do those three. You could do however many you want, really. Just kind of have fun. adding texture and cool stuff to this. And you can add water if it's like not wanting to make lines. You may need to add water to help the flow better. even like kind of far out from the holes a little bit you can kind of do a few that are um, kind of curving around but just don't do it too far out all right I think that looks really cool so neat and you can see it's just like it's just a few lines and some little dots and you know depending on the, sh the way your lines are going you can make all these like cool interesting things on wood it's really neat all right well it's probably okay for another layer but I'm still going to work on the little nose area so we can get that in and allow a little bit more time for drying Okay, so I'm going to get, this is my number one round from Princeton Velvet Touch. It's the same kind as this one. And I use these a lot. So. You could probably get a slightly bigger brush, but, uh, slightly bigger round, but the one that I use a lot that's a little bit bigger is kind of a little bit too big, so I decided to go with a smaller one. So... Um, this area, it's kind of, it's like a brown. So, um, something that I've heard is, it's kind of cool, is you can tell if the parakeet is a boy or a girl by this little nose area here. Not the beak, but like the little area right above the beak. If it's brown or pink, that means it's a girl. And if it's blue, it's a boy. So, um, if you go to the pet store, you'll see sometimes they're brown, sometimes they're pink, sometimes they're blue. And that actually tells you if it's a boy or a girl. So this one's a girl. You could do, you could make it a boy just by making the little area there blue. And the blue um, kind of makes it, uh, it just adds some color to it. But I'm gonna do this one brown. And I'm gonna get like this color in here, just with more of the brown. And put that in there. Okay, now I'm going to get some unbleached titanium 
and put that underneath and I'm gonna kind of like tap it because it's kind of um, it's not a smooth texture it's kind of rough or like bumpy it's I don't know, it's got some texture in there darker in this area and lighter underneath and on this side. I'm just going to kind of tap in the different colors. sure that I got this underneath kind of light. Is this lighter underneath there? Okay. And then for the beak, it's kind of like a greenish. A greenish yellow. So I'm going to get do a little bit of this light green and some of the burnt umber. Not that much brown. And a little bit of the ultramarine blue. And I'm going to put that on the top part. some yellow and some unbleached titanium for the rest of it. Adding a little bit of brown to it since it's in the shadow and it does have a little bit more muted color. Get a little bit of the blue to kind of, it's kind of dark right on the, where it kind of touches that brown area. And it's a little dark on this side. And it's got a little bit of brown kind of right in here. Okay, what? Let's see. Can zoom in a little bit. Okay, it's in the corner there. It's kind of too far back for you to see. Sorry about that. So, just kind of range of different colors there. Okay, I'm going to rinse that brush out and go back to the 3 8 inch angle. And I'm just going to get that really dark, like, black color we use for the knot holes and things. And I'm going to put some more back in this hole to just kind of really make sure it's covered. We wouldn't want to see through to the other side when it's supposed to be all dark. Alright, so I think we could probably do the more on the parakeet itself, like the yellow and green. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out. And make sure you can see it all there. And I'm going to take off the chalk lines. So I'm just taking my rag and I'm getting it wet. Um, you want it damp. And don't like rub because the paint is still 
you know, fresh on there, if you like, you know, do like this, it'll lift off the paint. And then you'll have this ugly spot, you'll have to like match up all your colors again, same ones, and that wouldn't be good. <laughs> so just kind of lightly take it off, like that. And if you still have a, a little bit um, on there, you can just kind of wait until it's cured or later when it's not as wet. Okay, so now you can kind of see what we have. And I'm just going to go back, since you can still see through the bird quite a bit, I'm going to um, do another layer like we just did, but I am going to um, clear my palette from all this old paint. So I'm gonna pause and do that. All right, so this is a glass palette, mine is. Um, so I can just take, um, I can just scrape off the old paint by spraying it and scraping it off. So if yours isn't glass, it may not be that easy to scrape it off, but you could like wipe it off somehow with paper towels. So I'm just gonna take the same colors and do it again. So I'm just gonna show you before, um, when I did the yellow and put it on, you couldn't see it, right? So now with the, the white, see how bright it is? And you can still see over. Um, we're not gonna do that quite yet um, because if we did it now we would still have all these like funky pink pockets in, in here. So I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to go back. See this layer is probably going to be the last layer uh, possibly that we do of this because it's actually covering over that area that we don't want to see. We need to go back and do that beak some more, but and in here there's like some little areas that are kind of poking out. There's like a little spot right here that's the feathers are a little funny. So you don't have to get it perfect. I'm actually going to purposely kind of flick some out in certain areas. I used to have par uh, two parakeets. They were cloud and rainbow is what I call them. And it's because the girl, Rainbow, had like every color in her. You know, she was one of those that had like, I can't like specifically remember exactly what she looked like in my mind because she was so colorful, but it was like, you know, she was one of those that had just like green and blue and yellow and like just tons of different colors. So that's what I called her. And then um, the boy was Cloud and he was mainly white, but he had a little bit of, um, little bit of blue in him. So he kind of looked like a sky, clouds. So I'm just kind of putting this yellow in where I see more yellow. I can kind of cover over that green now, where I had too much green. go with the green and just fill that in where I see the green. So I I like parakeets. They're they're so cute and I kind of got tired of taking care of them though because it's like the feathers would go everywhere and you had to change the cage like least once a week, which doesn't really sound like that long if you haven't done it, but it was to me. <laughs> it's pretty. And then their seeds, the food, um, you could um, you could just you know put new seed in there, but what happens is they have to like 
bite it and the outside comes off and they eat what's inside the seed. So all those little outside shells would kind of come off into the food bowl. So every once in a while I'd have to go over the trash can and like get all of that out. I, this probably wasn't very good for my lungs, but <laughs> I would like blow into the food bowl and they would all poof out and then I'd have to clean up all the ones that came out. That probably wasn't very good, but that it got all of the husks out without getting the seeds out, so <laughs> I don't know that I would recommend doing that now that I think about it. That probably wasn't very good for inside, but that's what I did. There's probably some professional way to get it out. So don't do that if you get a pair of just I'm just telling you, I do not want anybody to have bad lungs because I said that that's what I did, so. Alright, so now I'm just taking a little bit of brown and doing this section again. Now you're seeing it's actually kind of covering better. Just lifting up to see something right there. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry. Brush, like not wanting to, the paint's not wanting to come out. All right, and I'm going to do the beak area again. So let me zoom in, and I'll do this little area right there. So I'm getting mainly burnt umber and a little bit of ultramarine blue just a tiny bit, with unbleached titanium. Just kind of fixing that area there. And I'm getting some yellow now and a little bit of that burnt umber and unbleached titanium but it's still mainly yellow just muted I'm gonna fix that beak and I'm gonna get the brown that I just used and just kind of add a little bit of brown so I kind of place it wipe it off my brush and then kind of move it around. And when I wiped off the chalk, the water left like a funny stain above the head, so I'm gonna fix that. Alright, and now I'll do the feet here. So yeah, I'll try to mix in this little area that you can see. So, I'm going to do uh, some of this brown and some yellow. And some blue. So, turning it to green. 
some more brown. A little bit of unleached titanium. And add more blue to it. And I'm just going to put that in here. Actually quite a bit lighter, so I'm going to get more unbleached titanium. I'm just going to put in my feet. And you could draw them in if you didn't want to have to just paint them directly in. But Okay. Yeah, I was hoping that my parakeets would have babies and they, I could, you know, watch them grow up, but got rid of them before that. I was actually wanting to get babies in the first place so that I could kind of take them out of the cage and play with them, but ended up getting adults and then they were kind of shy and they didn't really want me to take them out. But um, Cloud would let me, he would kind of eat out of my hand. I mean, I had to stick my hand in the cage, but he kind of eat out of my hand sometimes more than Rainbow Wood. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side. And it's got like a pretty light, like, highlight on them. I'm going to do that later. Okay, so now I'm going to take some white and I'll put that in these areas that are really bright. I still want a little bit of shadow though. And then I just want to add the white right here. This gel. And then back here it's lighter, but I'm going to get the unbleached titanium since it's kind of in the dark. Kind of, sort of. I'm just going to kind of place it and then I'm going to wipe my brush off and then I'm going to scrub it back. I'm going to take a little bit of ultramarine blue and just kind of add a little bit of that in a few spots. Alright, now I need to do the toenails. So. I'm going to take unbleached titanium and I'm going to 
make sure my brush is at a point. I want it super thin. And just kind of put that in. take a little bit of burnt umber and on this one kind of closer to the toe I'm going to put a little bit of that and you're just seeing those two I'm seeing the others I'm going to take a little bit of the darker put it under here on that little foot I think that was maybe burnt umber and ultramarine blue with more brown maybe all right, we're gonna zoom out now. All right, so that was this color that I just added on the foot. All right, now I think I'm just gonna stick to the same brush I've been using. Making sure that I keep my other brushes wet that I'm like using, like this big, big one, so that it doesn't dry in there. All right. And so I'm going to take the yellow by itself. I'm just going to put it in here. Might add a little bit of white, um, lighter color in certain areas because there are some light, lighter whitish spots. Take that yellow. Gonna kind of tap in to kind of add texture. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some white and there's like really bright spot right here, and it's got some bright here. Head, some bright on the top of his head. there and I'm going to take the yellow now by itself and then just add just a tiny tiny bit of green and a little bit of brown just because I want it to be more muted and I'm going to go on this side I'm going to add a little bit of white to help it cover better. Okay, it's not going on right.
And I like dipped in my other color there while putting that out on accident. I'll wipe my hand off. Alright. I'm going to get the yellow itself and kind of blend in. Blend it in. A little bit of white here. I'm going to put this yellow on the areas that are back here, kind of hidden. Put a little bit on that. These areas are kind of dull too. It's just this side that's really bright. And then I'm going to get some green light green with a little bit of that brown too and do that on the areas that are too dark or darkened Then I'll get that with the yellow or the bright spots. And there's some green that's kind of coming up right up close to the head. Brushing some of that in there. And then I'm going to get the yellow, get some more in there, and some white. kind of some like light lighter areas around like the eye so like that water. Alright, so now we can kind of do the black patches. And I'm going to 
just go get the ultramarine blue and the burnt umber and make like the black for the hole again. And we can put, there's like a big one kind of in here. And these don't have to be perfect either. They can be different. Just putting like different shapes of black in here. There is one that kind of starts in here, goes down, and it kind of is for the ending of that's the one that ends the wing there. that side and then and let's see up here there's some you can do like different shapes going different directions just kind of using like the tip of your angle brush and just putting different little shapes there's like a hole that, that's like kind of just there's like nothing there you can just kind of put some black in and fill it in and it's not gonna no one's gonna be like oh that dot is not right <laughs> you don't need to worry about it being that perfect some white areas so I'm gonna get the white and I'll just add just a little bit of that black that we're using just to make it not a pure white because it is in the shadow area and there's some right in here some that kind of comes on the edge a lot all in here. There's a little white patch there. All right, and now I'm gonna get some more pure white and kind of add some of that in there. Okay. Now I'm going to go to 
do my small round now. And I'm going to work on the eye. If it's wet, you might want to dry it so that if you have anything you want to wipe up, you can. So I'm going to get the white right in here. There's the eye area. And I'm going to take like this gray that we made and put a little bit kind of around that. darker kind of right under that area. Okay, let me zoom in. Super dark or anything. And then I'm going to take the black and just put like a little dot right there. And I'm going to take a little bit of brown, maybe a little bit of that dark, like blackish color. And I'm just going to take a little bit and kind of in here around the eye at the bottom and then on top of the head there are some stripes parakeets have stripes and normally they're black but in this picture I don't know if they really are or if they just look like it but they look more like a light green so I'm going to take some the cadmium yellow medium and the light green. I might do be mainly yellow though, just so that I don't make it look really weird. So there's going to be some. Squiggly and kind of just have fun with it. And I'm going to get a little bit of more like green and a little speck of brown just to make it a little darker certain spots and like right in here you can really see them and off in the eye I just took the eye off get that black again Do a little like lighter stripe color. Put some of those. Okay, and then in this area right here, I'm going to take ultramarine blue and just kind of tap it in. take a little bit of that like darker black type color and tap some of that in 
and I'll take some ultramarine blue with some white too. Kind of add some lighter color in there. I'll get even more like stronger white and kind of tap some. Let's kind of go back from like the pure to the white mixture. Now it really looks like a parakeet. It's so cute. his little nose holes so I'm gonna get the black just kind of see this is the ultramarine blue and mixtures that I've been calling black because it's so dark. Going further away shouldn't be quite as big. Okay, and then he's got some little black dots too. I'm going to take dark color and right about There's one black dot and so there's two there and then on this side they're a lot smaller so one and then two. You can kind of tap them out with your finger. I've been doing if you want to. Okay, and then I'm going to zoom back out. Now we're seeing it looking so cute. It looks really good. Alright, so I want to darken up these patches on him. shouldn't take as long as putting them in because they're already placed so we can just kind of add a little bit more take some of this like green yellowy mixture and try not to touch the black but I just want to kind of make these two sections connect because it's not like it's not like the wing is not attached we want it to look attached so I'm just going to kind of put some of that in here and really on that side brush and get some of this dark. There's like a really thin line of dark right there. I'm going to put in another patch just because it's kind of put in another patch right there too. Okay, and I'll take just a little bit of white. These are like the final details. My little round brush. Just a little bit of white and go against the edge. Alright. So I say that that's pretty good. I think he's done. So cute. And he looks really, really cool. I really like him. Alright, so I'm going to take, see if my, uh, my pen has been acting up lately. So I don't know 
if it'll work, but nope. Oh, what, what's up with this? Is my Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen, and I normally sign with it, but for some reason it's been acting up and it doesn't want to write. I don't know if it's because I kind of like tried writing with it last time when it was still a little wet down here. I don't, I don't know, but there's our little parakeet veggie. He's so cute. And he looks really, really cool. I already said that, like, oh, at least once, but he does. I really like him. So, um, this is um, the schedule for August, and next we're doing this. I'm not going to put the person in. I'm just going to make it, like, the rock formation in the beach. Um, that's going to be a harder one. It'll probably take quite a bit of time. I don't know, depending on how fast it comes together. But um, the shells and the landscape are already out. Um, if you want to see the landscape right there so it came out really neat it's got tons of really cool colors and the like the road in there is cool so yeah that one's fun so if you go to my channel um, you can write like directly under the video if you tap Emily Powers art it'll bring you to my channel and there you can see those videos that I just showed and some more that I have on there from previous months or possibly future months if you're looking at this you know several months later so I hope you enjoy this that you paint it it looks really neat so I hope you try it and that it will be easy for you to do so thanks for watching bye